Okay, so we're going to take uh, one of these silhouettes that we find online. We're going to click it so it opens up large. Once it opens up large, go to Photoshop, go to File, go to New inside of Photoshop. Once you get to File and New, go to the Print Settings up top. You're going to choose the uh, letter size. That make sure it has a 300 resolution RGB color mode in white and click Create. Once you have that, kind of move it over, go back to the internet, find the image, click, drag, and drop the image into here. Once it does come up, we're going to do Edit, Free Transform. So we get that box around. We're going to hold Shift on the keyboard and pull from the corner to resize it. I'm going to do the same thing, hold Shift, pull from the bottom. So kind of uh, position it in the middle of the screen, make it pretty large, and then you can hit the checkbox or you can hit Enter on your keyboard. You'll see in the Layers panel you have this uh, white <coughs> page on the bottom. If I hide the white page, you have the white that's surrounding this, so I'm going to go back to here. Uh, you can eliminate the white. You don't have to. You can, if for now, we'll just use the magic wand tool. Click on the white. Hit delete. We'll do the same thing inside this little piece. Hit delete. All right. Then we're going to do Command D on the keyboard or Select D Select to get those dots to go away. Now the whole point of this project is we are trying to do this sort of a thing. I'm going to call it uh, words in face. I'm sure some examples will come up. Yeah. So very similar to what this might look like, or even this same sort of thing. So here's how we do it. Go back to this, choose the text tool on your uh, toolbar, make sure it's the horizontal type tool is the one we're going to start with. You can use this one, but we're going to start with this one, all right? When you go over to your screen, you're going to click one time. Uh, and just so that there's no mistakes, I'm going to take layer one and hit this little lock button and lock down layer one. All right, so I got the text tool, I'm going to click. I click one time. When I click, you'll see a little blinking cursor. You're going to type in a word that goes along with whoever you've picked as your person. If you pick an artist, like a musician, you can use lyrics from one of their songs. In this case, if it's a basketball player, you could do basketball terminology or something about the player. I'm just going to put in the word basketball. All right, now you see it's hard to see. Obviously, it's very small. I'm going to click and highlight it. And when I click and highlight it, or even before I typed, actually, uh, even before I typed, up at the top here, this is the options bar for the text tool. And it's got all these different options for it. So the first one on this side is the different font that you want to choose. And for this project, I find that the best are the thick kind of fonts, not these little thin kind of ones don't work so great. But anything sort of thick will, will be fine. And then the size of it, as you start to type, I would start it at about a 36 or a 48 or so. And then again, I'm just going to type in basketball. All right. And then from there, um, if you want to change the color of it, you notice like it came up yellow, right? So if, when you highlight it, you click and drag back over it, you can click on the color, choose the color that you want. Just make sure it's something that you can see that's bright. Don't make it black, obviously, or else it'll blend in with the silhouette behind it. So I'm going to make it yellow for now. Hit OK. Then I'm going to hit the checkbox up top. Now, the next steps are you go over to the layer, and you do this every time. Right click, rasterize. After you rasterize, you can take the Move tool, the top tool on the toolbar. You can move this anywhere that you want. But if you want real control of it, you go to Edit and Free Transform. And that puts a box around it. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit better. Once you have this box around it, you can make it bigger or smaller by pulling the corner. I could pull the top. I could pull the side. Right? But I could also right-click on the inside. And if I right-click on the inside of this box, I can do a scale, make it bigger or smaller, rotate, right, turn it, skew it, distort it. You can pull from kind of any angle, really kind of play with the way that it looks, right? Uh, perspective makes it look like it's kind of coming at you or going away from you, sort of thing. And the most powerful one is the one that says warp. The ones at the bottom just flip it, either 90 degrees clockwise, counterclockwise, vertically, horizontally, but warp is the most powerful one. If you do warp, you get this little grid that gets put over it, and you have these little dots and handlebars. And you can individually move the handlebars and the dots wherever you'd like so that you can really twist and turn this word. There are presets for the warp. So after you right click and you do warp, up at the top corner here, there are some presets like arc. And then you can pull the difference in the way that the arc bends. Okay? So that's basically what you're doing. You're doing text inside the black areas only, not inside any of the white areas. You take the text tool, you click. You type in something related to your topic. You can change the color up here. You can change the font. Everything. Just remember, you have to highlight it in order to do it. Over here, right click, rasterize, and then Command T, free transform, and that's where that box is. So you can turn it, 
you can move it, you could right click, you could warp it, I could do this kind of thing, and you're trying to make it fit. And you don't really want the letters to overlap, you want them to come close to each other, but not necessarily overlap each other. Now in some cases you might have to have uh, letters that are small so that they fit into little spaces, because the more black you fill up, the more it will look like the person at the end. You know, we're going to take this away at the end, and you're only going to be left with letters. And then it should hopefully uh, look like the person. Okay? I think that's it. Any questions you can ask me in class?